Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you, kind of kind of sad this morning, kind of discouraged because I was gonna go get that manure, but turns out it's pretty fresh stuff, like it's real fresh. And I really am leery of, of bringing that into my garden area. You know, it's a stockyard, so who knows what kinds of stuff's going on in there, all the chemicals and stuff. I would really rather rather have been decomposing for a good year before, or at least six months before I use it in my uh, garden area. Kind of sounds funny to be discouraged about manure, I know, but it's a, uh, let's just say it's a stinky situation, or a <laughs> Or let's just say it's a, uh, uh, I'm ready to be done with it. Anyways, enough with the puns. Looks like the cardboard is still looking good. It's ready for the compost on top. I'm hoping to get that in today. We'll see though. But yeah, it's, it's staying put nicely. I like it. I am going to go and get the cardboard, finish that off, get one more load of that. Hopefully that will finish me off. And I'm gonna go get, hopefully get some compost. I'm gonna see if the dump truck that I'm wanting to use is available. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you get discouraged, you start getting down and it just gets to you. So I think the best thing for me right now is just to get out there and start doing stuff, even though it's not exactly what I had hoped for, but maybe what I can do is get that manure, bring it back here later on, like maybe in a month or so. Or, or hopefully sooner, but bring it here and then uh, mix it with some mulch and compost and start using the manure as a compost bin to where I'll, I'll uh, eventually have some really good stuff. But I really want it to have you know time to break down before I really put it on the garden. That's the plan, I'm gonna go get some materials. Actually, I'm gonna also pick up a weed eater today for around the house and we'll go from there. Let's see what all we get done today. Got a weed eater today. That'll serve us well around the house. Thank you, Lord. Good stuff. All right, folks, I'm ready. Let's go. Going to get that mushroom compost. Got uh, the dump truck ready. Let's go show you the dump truck. Boom, there it is. Let's use this guy to do some good stuff. 10 minutes away, making our way over there. Pretty far trek, but man, is it gonna be worth it. Turns out they only take um, check. So I'm gonna go over there, get myself checked, come on back, and we'll pay for it then. Okay, we're at Walgreens. We're gonna get a cashier's check for 85 buckaroos. I thought the compost was gonna be like 30 or 40 dollars. Turns out there's two different types. There's the uh, the material that they use to feed the mushrooms and that goes through and after about six months that's used up and spent and then they then then that is the other material the other material is what has been decomposed and been breaking down for about five six months so i could get the cheaper material for forty dollars or i could get the better stuff for 85 and i was thinking about it, i was like man you know i don't really want to spend more money today i'm already spending money on renting this machine but then i was like you know what I'd rather pay for quality. And if you think about it, the older material really is probably the equivalent of about three or four times the other stuff because the other uh, feeding material that they feed the mushrooms, that has decomposed over time. And it's more dense, has more nutrients in it, has the added benefit of the mushrooms, you know, breaking, breaking all of the minerals and compounds down to where it's uh, gonna be digestible for plants. So I'm gonna get this load, probably gonna stop at this load, go ahead and get another load of other compost that's closer to my place, mix those, and then we'll have a dynamic duo. Well, goodness, Walgreens over here doesn't do money orders or cashier's checks anymore. So I'm gonna go over to this bank and see if they can help me out. This is crazy. Well, guess what? This bank, doesn't uh, do them either. So, we're gonna go to the post office now. This is like a wild goose chase. Finally, we got it done, y'all. Got a money order. I've actually never done a money order before. That was kind of interesting. Pretty cool. So we are done with that. I'm heading back 
to the mushroom place. All right, let's try this again. Round number two. This must be what they feed the mushrooms first and foremost. And then we get the compost I'm about to get. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looking like we might be in for a long wait. I've been here about 15 minutes now and there's still a big old truck in front of me and a semi is getting full. So, ah, today is just full of opportunities to be patient and to not get overwhelmed. We're doing good. We're doing good, y'all. Okay, okay, semi's moving. That's good. That's a semi good sign, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Next guy is him, and then it's me. Look at that stuff right there coming out. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Well, guess what? They were done right there, so now we're going over here to get the uh, stockpile. They got, after it's done for the day, they stock it, pile it up here. So, yep. Just another uh, twist of the adventure. It's okay. I'm going up here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get all loaded up up here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's dusty. Guys, looking good. Happy stuff. We're loaded up. Looking good, smelling good. Wish you could smell it. it smells very fresh. Let's go. Pay for it, head back to the house. Finally. Folks, we are on site, as in my house. We got all kinds of compost up there. But guess what? I found another source of compost and uh, good material. There's a recycling place over here that I called and they said they have a pile of stuff that I can get for free. So I'm gonna go ahead Wait on dumping this. I gotta go get the cardboard actually because the Walmart has cardboard piled up for me. They're gonna throw it away if I don't get it real quick. So, gotta get that cardboard, and then I'll dump this, and then I'll go get some of that stuff over there. Whew. Talk about a crazy day! Oh my goodness! But hey, we're making it happen. To me, it's all worthwhile because think about all the time and energy that folks put into you know buying super big houses and super nice cars, but they don't take, sometimes they don't take care of their bodies. Our bodies are gifts, and I, in my opinion, is that we should be stewards of our bodies. So this, to me, is investment in taking care of my body and in helping my uh, friends and family also take care of their bodies by growing some really good food. Healthy food, homegrown food. Okay, I'm gonna leave this truck right here for now, and I'm gonna get my truck, wherever it is. Oh shoot. Oh no, just remember that my truck is over at the other place. I guess, yep, I'm gonna have to dump this. All right, let's go ahead and dump it. <laughs> Keep on forgetting stuff, okay. Let's dump this and then we'll come back, go over there, get the cardboard, go and get the uh, other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cardboard and this cardboard and put it all right in the middle. Should have done it in the, initially because I didn't. I mean, I didn't know I was gonna, not going to have enough cardboard, and then dump all right on top of it. Now, let's go ahead and back the truck in right here and dump right on top of all this.
garden guy goodness right there, people. Oh my goodness. Squishy, squishy. Yes. This is an exciting day for the garden guy. Look at this goodness. Look at that. It fell right to the edge there. Somebody was planning, thinking right. I'm going to go up there, scoop a little more with the scooper pooper. But man, oh man, look at that start. That's future groceries right there. I'm telling you. You know, here I am talking about taking care of your body and everything, and I am super thirsty. So I'm going to go inside, get myself a drink, and then we will leave. Go get that cardboard now. Oh man, look at this gold right here. It's a lot of gold. Finally, have a passenger friend. He's a little bored because he's cardboard, but he's he's a good friend to have. All right, next stop is compost. Looks like the guy has quite a bit to load up first, then he'll come over here and help me. I don't know exactly what they're giving us as far as material goes. Looks like they have sand here, there. I hope it's a little more than that, but we'll see. We'll see what they give us. It'd be nice if they gave us a lot of good stuff. Whew. It's about time I just relaxed a little bit and enjoyed the day. I was thinking this morning I didn't want to get up. You know, I didn't want to, I really didn't want to get out here and, and do this stuff. I wanted to get it done, but I didn't want to do the doing part of it, if you know what I mean. I just realized, you know, I kind of, kind of dilly-dallied and waited around a little bit. Then I realized it's one thing to think about stuff and plan it, but there's an aspect to getting stuff done where you just have to get out there and do it. Like, if, even if you don't know exactly what you're gonna do, try to make a plan, but there's something to be said about just getting out there and doing it. Doing something, failing a little bit, you know? And even though everything didn't go, you know, perfectly, there's so many stuff. <laughs> I mean, you saw, y'all saw today, today what happened. There's so much craziness that happened. But even with all that, we got way more done than when if we were just to sit at the house and do nothing. Sometimes, if you don't know the exact plan, you feel like you're kind of stuck, just get out there and do something. Do something. Do something productive. A lot of times, it's a domino effect from there, and you, you get a lot done after that. Garden guy wisdom of the day. I don't know about wisdom, but experiences. Look at that mulch over there. Whew. That's what I'm talking about, a mulch pile. These guys do some serious recycling. See over there, that's all debris that's gonna be mulched up. So excited about this. My goodness, I think what we're getting is that right there. See how it's like silty and stuff? Basically the sand and this topsoil and the mulch all like like comes there when it rains and it's all decomposed and stuff. Oh my goodness, he's getting a five yard bucket. Oh my goodness. If you wanna see garden to get excited, I'm trying to hold it back for you because I don't wanna I don't wanna scare y'all with my excitement, but basically I'm pumped. 